Hey guys, it's Master 25 here. I'm going to show you how to hack your PSP from official firmware 6.60 to custom firmware M33-6. Now, I already have a video up explaining all this, but some people are complaining, saying it doesn't work. Uh, I begged it for it works. The link has expired, so if you want the files to hack the PSP, PM me with your email, and I'll just reply back with the hack. It's in the folder right here. So, let's just do this. Today is January 29, 2012, 2013, my bad. 3.30, 6 a.m. Can't sleep, anxiety. I got my old PSP out, I got it out of the closet, and played with it already, yeah, in, in over a year. See, it's 5.0 and 33-6, Zombie Master 25. Um, alright, so, mine no longer can, uh, play UMDs, I burnt it out by watching too many UMD movies, doesn't matter, because I can still watch CSO, ISO files on here, you know, it's how you watch, play the games, too. Right now, all I left on the game is, a uh, Bleach, Heat the Soul 7. Um, I don't feel like starting it up, but right here is the official PSP firmware update. Uh, so I did that just by going to network update and updating. You have, you have to turn off the using M33 drivers. And anyway, I'll just show you. All right, so I'm gonna unhack it. Clicking on the update the official firmware 6.60. My PSP is old, man. Light leaks all over the place. I had a 3000, but I don't play with the PSP. Honestly, I don't. In fact, I might sell this one. So, give it a second. There it goes. Alright, so it says uh, PSP software version 6.60 start. Now, I am unhacking it right now. So, yes. Accept the license. Start. Alright. Do not turn off. AC adapter, memory stick, blah blah blah. So this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video, and when it's done, I'm going to show you how to hack it. Okay, so that took a minute, but now it's official firmware 6.60, Zombie Master at 25. Now, format your memory stick, which I already did. Now connect, connect to USB. Let me turn the TV down a little bit. I'm still trying to get used to this new camera. Open folders. Okay, this is what you're going to get. Hope you all can see this. Now I'm opening the folder where the PSP hack is. Okay. Now, let me try to get it. These are the ones you want. Pro Update, Recovery, 500 PBB. Uh, ignore the game boot. I'll do that in a different video. Honestly, I forgot how to do it. I gotta look at my notes. But it's not that hard. Alright. First, you take the 500 PBP. PBP. Drop it in. Right underneath where it says PSP. Just drop it in there. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Now... Open PSP, open game, take pro update and recovery, and drag and drop those in there. Fucking fans messed up. Alright, now, that's it, now exit out. Fuck. Alright. 
See? Dur, dur, dur. Now, first what you want to do is run Hellcat's Recovery Flash Flasher. Now, you can do this and the hack won't be permanent. That's why, the, and after this, you get to run the Pro Update. So, I'm going to show you. Press X. Hold on. Run the pro update. Headache. So run pro update. Alright. Now try to get the focus. Alright. Press X to launch CFW. That's what you want. So press X. Press X again. Alright. Now it's hacked. It's M33-6. But if you turn it off, it will go back to being 6.60. So, what you then want to do is... Oh, sorry about that. Now you want to use Hellcast Recovery Flasher. Migraine starting up. I hate these things. Okay, it's loading. Click down to I agree. Press X. Alright. Give it a second. Alright. Target firmware at 5.0. Cycle change. All right. Click down. Oops. All right. Install CFW a version selected above. Hit X. Reset. Just hit X again. Reset format settings as well. Just hit X. Say classic fat PSP. This works on PSP 1000s, 2000s, and 3000s. The PSP Slims are 2000s and 3000s. The PSP Street, I don't know. That's a European version of a Slim. The PSP Bright, again, that's another European version. I don't know. 1000s, 2000s, and 3000s. This does not work on the Go or Vita. They're, they're completely different. They use different formats. And I know the links for the hack have been taken down, so PM me, tell me you want the, the hack, and I'll send you the folder. Doesn't take that long, I'm just going to keep the video going, so you step by step know what I'm doing. Any questions at all, leave them in the comment box, and I'll get back to them. If you're wondering what I'm watching in the background, it's uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. You know, after months and months and months of not having Netflix, I just got it back and uh, by choice. And uh, they haven't put not a single movie, uh, not a single brand new movie up. Like, since, I want to say September of 2012... I, that's when I canceled my Netflix. Now it's 2013. And they haven't put not one new freaking movie up. Honestly, the best bet is uh, do the Amazon on demand videos. That video on demand. Just pay for the the $80 of the, of the Amazon Prime. You get to watch their entire movie collection. Dances with Wolves. Postman, uh, the brand new releases, Judge Dredd, all of them. Okay, so press any button to shut down. I just hit X. <clears throat> just give it a second, it'll blink a few times. 
it's just it's just getting ready to start back up because it's flipping over from the official to the hat to the custom firmware. All right, now I'm gonna restart it. English, Eastern Time, Canada, yeah, yeah, whatever, come on, all right, all right, PSP name, whatever, oh, why does the background have to be white? Sorry about that. Right. System setting. System information. Okay. See? 5.0 M33 6. Nickname P497. I'll change that back to Zombie Master later. Alright, so. Now, if you want to put a game on it, hook it back up to the USB. I just hit X. Open folder to view files. This is what it'll look like. Oh, wow. Right. This is what it'll look like. Actually, hold on. Damn it, I forgot a step. First, what you want to do is go to system settings and format memory stick. Durr. All right. Now you want to connect it. That way you get any uh, background crap off of it, you know? Alright, yeah, see now, that's what you want to see now. See, there's ISO, music, PSP, video. Alright, so click on ISO. And just, like, these are my games right here. Uh, just drag and drop them in. Now it depends on like if you're using WinRAR, like or if you have to open them up and combine them together, or it's you know there are better videos out on YouTube than mine about this. Honestly, I, I'm not into the PSP anymore. I don't like what they're doing with the graphics. They're like going really downhill in the graphics and gaming department. The PSP Go is an abomination. So is the Vita. They're both abominations, and uh, they suck. So I'm gonna give this a minute. I'm gonna pause the video, give it a minute, and I'll continue when it's done loading. All right. So it took a minute. It's it's done. So back out. Come on. I don't know how to get this camera to autofocus when I want it to. So now there's Bleach Heat to Soul 7. And Bleach Heat to Soul 6. I accidentally double copied it. See? So, I got free games. Free custom firmware. And I can put free movies on it. And, uh, that's it. If you want the hack, the PSP 6.0 hack, I t t e uh, PM me I'll s with your email address. And I'll, s I'll, t I'll attach it to a file and send it to you. Other than that, that's it. It's not that hard. So, it's 4.01 a.m. I got a migraine headache and can't go to sleep. So I'm just going to watch the rest of this movie. Peace out.